Our trip to Catalina Island started early in the morning. After leaving Bavaro, we headed to the southwest to La Romana port, passing by fields full of sugar cane. After arrival, we had to choose our swim fins and then we left the port smelling everywhere around caramel scent of roasted sugar cane from sugar factories. First activity was one hour long snorkeling. We were told that Dominican coral reef is not that impressive as for example in Red Sea. It is caused by many factors but mostly trawling the bottom of the sea in the past and massive tourism in huge cruise ships nowadays. I must agree that Hurgada coral reefs were much more spectacular but we still enjoyed snorkeling here a lot. After one hour of snorkeling in the Caribbean Sea, we arrived to Catalina Island. This island is much less popular than Saona, so if you don't like to spend time in crowded places, maybe you should choose Catalina instead of Saona, because it's much, much, much less people here. Right now it's only our trip and this is about like 25 people and the rest of the beach is totally empty. After Derek finished his show, it turned out that he was lucky to not get beaten by bees. The beach is placed just next to the cliff. You can have a walk on this cliff or you can go for snorkeling on your own. Yes, Darek was right. A storm catched us on the way back to the port and the wind was so strong I thought that it will break my head off, but in general actually we had fun. But the rain actually didn't stop us from slowing down when we saw jumping bonito fishes in the sea. Bonito is a type of tuna and here you can see bonitos jumping over the water surface and we were told by the guide that it is because probably there is like huge dangerous barracuda under that is trying to catch bonitos and they are jumping to escape. 
The storm in Catalina Island was the beginning of weather changes. The next day surprised us with really heavy rain that lasted for really long hours. And then for the next couple of days, we are waiting for the weather to become 100% sunny again. So we can go for our final trip, diving in helmets! And here we go, driving with this bus that could be actually a roller coaster, uh, collecting guests from other resorts, going to Sequarium. We arrived to the port where we actually had to fill documents and forms that we are aware we can be eaten by sharks and then we could chill on the hammock. Firstly, we had to go through a short instruction how trip is going to look like. admit that the staff started the party at the full speed and guests joined them immediately. We arrived to a spot where we can dive with helmets. It is placed next to an old shipwreck where you can also snorkel. Helmets are not sealed at all, the air is just pumped inside of the helmet, creating a bubble and making breathing possible without any mask. To not let the helmet float to the surface, but stay on your head underwater, they have to be very heavy. One helmet is 30 kilograms heavy, that's why they put it in your head in the last moment before diving. Helmets are actually very comfortable, you can even still wear glasses under your helmet and you totally don't feel the weight underwater. While going more down under the water you just need to remember remain vertical and reduce pressure in your ears, for example by yawing. Unfortunately it's not allowed to record or make photos underwater and the staff is only making photos with their GoPro. So the material that I'm showing you right now is taken from Sequarium Punta Cana YouTube channel. It's their official advertising video of diving with helmets. In the meantime, you can snorkel around the wreck, but to be honest, after helmet diving, it isn't that exciting. Staff also doesn't provide the snorkel, only the mask, so it was a clever move to bring my own. And change of the place. Still dancing, we are heading to a real seaquarium where we will be swimming with sharks and huge stingrays. I must say that even though I had chance to swim with dangerous sharks and majestic huge stingrays, it wasn't as exciting as any other snorkeling in the wild. I simply enjoy much more snorkeling in open waters.
anytime we get back to the boat, staff start the party and everyone get in a very dancing mood. I feel like we've been dancing all the time on the boat. We arrive to our last stop that is again Piscina Natural, which you already know from my sauna vlog. It means drinking rum and coke in a warm shallow waters and of course more dancing. It's time to sum up! It was a really cool excursion. The cost was $110 per person plus $50 total for all your photos. You get the link to download photos very fast after the trip. Of course, the best part was diving in helmets, which was really new for me after scuba diving and snorkeling. If you're afraid of scuba diving, then helmet diving is for you. No need to know how to swim or use equipment. You just go underwater in your makeup or your glasses and walk on the bottom of the sea. Super comfortable and super exciting. There are other attractions in the sea aquarium like swimming with dolphins or kissing the sea lion. You can choose your package and adjust the price. Highly recommend it. Let me know in the comments if you ever tried helmet diving or if you would like to try it in the future. And if you like this video, please leave me thumbs up, it really matters. Subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more. Bye!